And now, look at this question. It asks us to give the domain and to give the range of the straight line. And is the straight line a function? You're going to see this a lot. Is f a function? Give the domain and give the range. Can we tackle those three questions together? Is it a function? Give the domain. Give the range. I see somebody's already asking me, ma'am, how is this done with a parabola? I'm so excited to show you, but let's just finish the straight line quickly. Just look. If I ask you to give me the domain and the range of the straight line, always, it's never anything else. Just look. The domain of a straight line, write this down, everybody. The domain of the straight line is x is an element of r. You got that? What does that mean? It means that x can be anything. This line goes right up and it goes right down. So x is an element of r. What is my range? It is exactly the same. y is an element of r. That is the domain and range of a straight line. And I hope you guys are sitting with this question, ma'am. What is the domain and range of the inverse of a straight line? What is the domain and range of the inverse of a straight line? Think it's exactly the same as the straight line itself. Why? Because it's two straight lines. X is an element of R. Y is an element of R, both for the straight line and for the inverse. Now come that most important question. Is it a function? Is this a function? Everybody, take out your rulers. I said I'm going to show you an awesome trick. It's not a trick. We call it the vertical line test. So if I ask you if a graph is a function, take your rulers out in the exam and you do the vertical line test. What is the vertical line test? What am I supposed to do? So everybody takes out your, take out your rulers. And that graph that we sketched, first look at my red graph quickly. Look at my red graph. Can you see my ruler? That ruler I put down vertically and I push it up on my straight line. Just focus on the red one for me. Just focus on the red graph. Focus, focus. What do you see? That ruler of mine only cuts the red graph once. It only cuts the red graph once. So it means that every x has one y value. Every x has one y value. If your ruler cuts it once, it has only one y value. So a vertical line test means that every x has one y value and then it is a function. Okay, so how are you going to test for a function? You're going to take your ruler and you're going to do the vertical line test. I'm doing it again. It only cuts my red graph at one place. And now we go to this awesome question. Somebody says, ma'am, what about the line of symmetry? You guys are just too clever for me this afternoon. What does line of symmetry mean? The line of symmetry for all these graphs is y is equal to x. I am going to sketch it in a dotted line. And I'm going to use this Koki. And everybody, this is the line y equal to x. Can you see that? This is the line y equal to x. And y equal to x is my line of symmetry. Big words. What does it mean? What does it mean? So now you focus. I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to fold this graph onto that line y equal to x. Just see me folding it. You can also fold with me. You can also fold with me. I'm folding this graph on the line y equal to x. What did I see? That red graph falls directly on the blue graph. Look at that. Can everybody see that? It falls directly on the blue graph. You guys, 
this is the line of symmetry. One side equal to the other side. Okay, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Domain and range. X is an element of R. How did I get my inverse equation? I swapped my X and my Y. What is the line of symmetry? Sometimes they ask, what is the equation for the line of symmetry? Y equal to X. For all these inverse graphs, Y equal to X is your line of symmetry because we're interchanging our X with our Y. Okay, grade 12, that is the straight line.